It's happening. No more fun. The fun ends now. Okay? It ends now. Any of you out there big fantasy fans? Fans of the fantasy genre? Lord of the Rings? D&D? Stuff like that? Um, very typically a, 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 a hub of chud activity uh, centered around the, uh, the fantasy genre. Uh, Warhammer, a great example. D&D, definitely the old timers there. Lord of the Rings, for sure. This is about Lord of the Rings, as you uh, 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 saw. It is, it is a silly thing. He's going to go into it a little bit. Lord of the Rings is coming out with a, a show on Amazon Prime called Lord of the Rings something. The fucking power of the ring or the ring, the ring is happening. I'm, I'll watch it. I think it, it's good. I don't know. It'll probably be good, right? I hope it's going to be good. Please be good, Lord of the Rings show. Uh, but nonetheless, uh, they, they did a promo. Did you guys see the promo for it? I bet if I type it in. Lord of the Rings. Just Lord of the Rings. If I type it in, you're going to see the hands. I could be wrong, but I feel like you're going to see the hands. The hands are going to happen. Uh, ooh, it didn't happen. Lord of the Rings character. Uh, uh, Lord of the Rings show. I'll do that. Razor Beast, thanks for the 25 months, dude. There it is, the hands. Um, <coughs> if you are a racist, you may see a problem here. <laughs> if you are a racist, you may detect... A slight problem here, okay? They tweeted uh, some promo pictures, and and wouldn't you know it? Well, gosh darn it, the cast. I don't know who this is. The cast happens to be not only white folks. You you may have noticed they they also did some uh, character por- uh, pictures and stuff too. I mean the the design already when you just look at this looks pretty fucking good. Like the quality is really good. It's gonna be the most expensive shit that's ever been put on TV. Uh, that's a raspberry to show the scale of the hand. Nice. See they keep doing it. They, here's an apple. It's huge. She's big old big old acorns. These are hobbits. Chat. Um, nonetheless, these are cool. I'm, I'm, I'm into it. I think it's, I think it's fun. It tells you about the characters and stuff that are involved. Gets you a little hype. You can see some, some, uh, things that evoke certain aspects of the different places we might be exploring a little bit. Uh, certainly this one's fascinating. Um, <laughs> anyway, the, the chuds are mad because they allowed the blacks into the, the white thing. Um, that's, yep. I mean, that's what happened. So, All the rage on the internet right now is talking about Amazon's new adaptation of The Lord of the Rings. And there not, is really, really negative loud. reviews about this. And I Negative reviews? All right. When, at what point does a reaction become a review? Because I don't think they've gone further than reaction. I don't. I, I can't imagine uh, uh, looking at some promotional photos is a review of the content. You know what I mean? In the same way, like, you know when there was like a... Wow. There was like a bad poster of some movie that ended up being really good not too long ago. I forget which one it was. It really doesn't matter. But this happens all the time. Like, Twitter, I remember specifically being like, wow, this looks like shit, and then the movie was good. And, and people were like, wait, okay. Oh, well, bad, bad, uh, uh, <laughs> bad marketing, I guess. Uh, is that how reviews work? Doesn't there have to be a view first? That's how I thought it had to work. Like, the show could suck. And maybe it sucks because there's black people in it. But I, I, I'm going to be honest. I don't think that's going to be the problem. I don't think <laughs> the presence of some black folks being in the show <laughs> is going to fuck it up. Anyway, he's going to bitch more about very specific things. Let's listen. I, I watch a lot of the, the culture war guys and the oh. things that they're saying. A lot of oh, the really? nerdy guys, people that... Hmm, weird. Hmm, who's making those videos? Follow this very closely. And they're all saying this. Forced diversity is not good. And to be honest with you, I've sitting there like, this is an English... It's a little embarrassing that this guy is making this video and it is edited that way, right? When you look like this guy, you can't... You can't... You, you look old. You gotta be... You gotta do the old guy shit. Or... Or... You gotta be fun. 
And he's not that. He's wearing a suit. He's not fun. I don't know. I, I, I'm not. This isn't. This isn't. It's not my vibe, man. Did you guys see? This reminds me of something. Uh, I'm not getting stun locked. This is funny, and I want it in the YouTube video. So, <laughs> this is. Uh, let me let me show you. Let me show you a thing. <laughs> oh, not that. But that's bad too. Uh, this Lotus Eaters content. This is this is uh, definitely. I'm not getting stun locked. I promise. Um, Sargon, a very similar vibe to this fucking loser. Uh, Sargon uh, just got a new editor and out for this Lotus Eaters thing. And I wanted to show you this because it's so fucking funny and cringe. Uh, Michael, oh, our, our amazing video editor, has been making some short videos for those social media pages that don't like our long videos. What do you think? So I watched it in earnest. Chat, give me your honest review of this edit in a second, please. <laughs> Here we go. Let's start fiddling with our brains, shall we? You know something about that, don't you? I do indeed. Um, as, <laughs> as someone has pointed out in the chat, Josh the scientist will defend the evils of science. <laughs> yes, he will, yeah. That's I'm why here. I got him on for this. My expertise in evil is my main asset. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't say that in the interview. <laughs> <laughs> Let's start. Dude, it looks like it <laughs> it looks like a super deluxe cut. Like if you just put weird music over top of that. Like it was going like, and it, and and you did one thing of him like slurping on that mug. I would have laughed at this and just made fun of him and thought whoever t posted this was was joking uh, about this. Why is a trash can on your Twitter? Oh, oh, I'm sorry. You're, you're mistaking. You, no, no, this isn't a trash can. This is a trash can. This is a trash can. Okay, with trash in it, with real trash in it. Um, but that this is this is actually. That's actually just Sargon of Akkad. This is the real one. Well, th I mean, it's a video of him, but you know what I mean. In the same way, that was sort of a video of uh, of a trash can for you. This is, you know, this is the real guy, though. Not a trash can. You, please, if, if you see him on the street, don't just throw your trash at him. He is a human man, not a trash can, okay? Even if you think you can make it from really far away. You know how, like, when you bundle up, like, stuff, and you're like... Kobe, and you try to shoot the... Am I the only one that does that? I can't be. Don't do that to him, okay? Wouldn't be nice. Anyway. Uh, the the idea was same vibe. Both boomers trying to live in a, in, a, in a world that's passed them by. Mythical fantasy tale. And now all... Although you can embrace being a boomer and just, you know, people will love you for it. All of a sudden we have black women dwarf queens. Shit. I kind of thought that was a little weird. What are you guys doing? Wait, what? What do you mean? I think that's a cool design. I actually like it a lot. Um, and and frankly, what this shows me is that the directors of the show know how to shoot people with uh, shoot as in <laughs> directorially, like photo photograph, video photograph, video photography, videography, uh, how to light black skin. Um, this looks really, really good. Like, really good. Uh, missing a beard. So we're mad about the beard? She does need a beard? I guess. Sure, yeah. Yeah. She could shave. Maybe there's something in the story about that. You know what I mean? I would like a beard on that, though. That would be, that'd be pretty okay. But the lighting is really, really well done. The, the And um, I don't know. I noticed that in um, uh, the new, the new uh, Horizon game, they have some black characters, and the, the models like actually look like black people for the first time in a video game that I've ever seen. It's not just like a caricature. It's like, holy shit, they captured like, it, oh, they, they actually had people that can like, like do black characters in video games correctly. It translates super well. It looks awesome. And then you got a black elf, which well, the way he put stank on that was so weird. Where, where in the Lord of the Rings was there ever black elves? I thought that was a little strange. And then there's reports of nudity coming into the Lord of the Rings. Game? It was Horizon. And then there's also people that have had unconfirmed reports that there will be LGBT representation. There already was LGBT representation in the original trilogy, okay? Come on, man. In this new production, and I'm kind of bothered by all this. This is really strange. You know, there once was a day when Lord of the Rings was, you know, a largely wholesome thing, aside from all the witchcraft and devilishness. Wait, okay, well, all right. <laughs> Wait, what was, what, what, what's unwholesome about? 
<laughs> What's that wholesome? Okay. And all that. But to, to make it woke was just a bizarre turn of events for me. Woke? And literally, wait, what's the woke adage about it? is true. You go, wait, 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 wait. What's the woke? What's the woke thing? You go woke, you go broke. Woke, you go broke. Oh. You know what's interesting about that? Is that it's untrue. <laughs> like, <laughs> because woke to them means black people are involved, right? Uh, it's like patently untrue. The Eternals just wasn't a very good movie. You know what was a pretty good movie that did well at the box office? Shang-Chi. You know what else is a good movie that did well at the box office? Black Panther. You know what wasn't a good movie that didn't do well at the box office? That, that, um... Uh, uh, oh, fuck. I actually forgot what it was. Hold on. Wait, 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 wait. Was it Medea? Didn't the, that Medea movie come out not too long ago? Let me look at the Medea. Yeah, 2022. Medea Homecoming? The Family Funeral one. That's the one I was thinking of. Is the Homecoming coming out soon? Nope. Wait. Okay. This Medea film is coming out soon. And it's on Netflix. It will not do well. Okay? There's there's lots of black folks involved with Medea movies. They don't ever do well. This one's going... This is not even going to the theaters. <laughs> brother <laughs> and the main complaint that these people have is that you are literally destroying the source material no there's no source material on what this is in order to accommodate a new generation of viewers on this lord of the ring stuff which oh weird hmm it's 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 a little bit like <clears throat> they had a profit motive to do so hmm Brings up the question, should we destroy the source material in order to accommodate a new crowd? I mean, accommodate new crowds, chat. I mean, Lord of the Rings kind of looked like, you know... Eternal still topped 400 million worldwide. Yeah, but it was ass. <laughs> it was bad, though. Um, well, I guess it wasn't, like, bad, bad. It had some fun parts, but it was, like, they, they needed about, like, f five characters instead of, like, 15 or whatever the fuck they had. How's it destroying the source? Uh, it isn't in fact uh we're gonna see um uh numenor in this which is really cool right but by, by the time lord of the rings trilogies came out numenor had sunk into the sea right uh this is this is about numenor i thought i could be wrong but i'm pretty sure they said that we were going to visit numenor specifically um oh i don't know anything about that sky comet fallen uh, are you erasing the source material from history? If not, then shut the fuck up. That's true. Maybe he should shut the fuck up. I should get a little a little poker for um uh uh ah uh, the stream deck. Wait, I pressed it. There we go. I'm using my back scratcher to poke it. Ancient Anglo-Saxon England, but now you're trying to make it look like downtown Philadelphia. Wait, did he say ancient Anglo-Saxon England? Wait. Like, you know, ancient Anglo... Wait. I mean, Lord of the Rings kind of look like, you know, ancient Anglo-Saxon like. England, but now... What? It kind of looked like that? Ancient? No, 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 no. It looked like Middle Ages Anglo-Saxon England a little, but not even a lot. Certainly none of this would be historically accurate. <laughs> like, What? Now you're trying to make it look like they downtown. Were, they were, those were the horse folk. Philadelphia. That's a little weird. Swords Why, equals I guess white. this falls in line with the fourth phase of the Marvel MCU. Um, excuse me, the Marvel M She You. We're like all of a sudden all these superheroes are all women and they're all these superheroes. Not the main character. Although the main this was the Black Widow movie. I don't I don't know. I don't know why Florence had to be thrown on the bus for this one. Not the main character is in this for a little bit of the movie. Um, she's an anti-vaxxer. You should be on her team uh, and is definitely not going to be in any future movies. Um, and then this is an Academy Award winning actress, um, Padme. They're all minorities and some of them probably are going to be gay. They're all minorities and some of them will be gay. They're all minorities okay one okay a quarter of them are minorities in this one 
So and some of them a, probably are going to be a lot of gays. We have two minority individuals. This is this is uh, Sony's Marvel. Not even not. <laughs> I'm gonna lose my mind. Gay and whatever I like want that. To be gay. And, and they're literally destroying the source material in order to accommodate a new generation. Matter of fact, one of the ladies who's running oh. Marvel Comics is such a raging narcissist that she created a character after herself. And it's sort of based on your life, yes? Yeah. Her backstory. She did that. You ain't fooling me, lady. I got. Wait. I thought. Wait, 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 wait. In a conversation about Lord of the Rings. This man is upset that someone doing a different type of media would dare involve their their upbringing or life experiences in the creation of that media. Lord of the Rings, which, if you're not sure, is heavily informed by uh, Tolkien's life. With Stanley, <laughs> this guy says, "Fuck Stanley." Can it's not even, it's not even, it's not even about the cameos. It's about like <laughs> putting it, like drawing from your own experiences to breathe life into into creative works. It's like so weird. Got you figured out. Mm-hmm. And just think of it this way: like if if they were to do another Black Panther movie or something like that, uh -huh. but like. Black Panther was played by Jim Carrey. Uh huh. You would kind of think that was a little weird, wouldn't you? I mean, I. Uh. Uh. What? Uh, but the. But the. But. But Black Panther isn't being played by Jim Carrey. Why does he have stuff on his teeth in this one? And also, none of the characters in the Lord of the Rings show are. Care. Wait. Does. Does he not know? That none of the characters in the Lord of the Rings show are from the Lord of the Rings movies? Does he not know that this is a prequel and totally different? Like, is dare I say, is he ignorant of what he's talking about? <laughs> I, I know I would. Uh, I, I would still, I guess, watch the movie. I mean, I watched Black Panther, and, and you know, I mean, it was it was an African slanted movie, and it was true to its source material. And um, I didn't, I, I mean, I didn't have a problem with that at all. African slanted, and he didn't have a problem with it. This guy didn't have a problem with Black Panther. That's good. I'm, I'm good. I, I'm glad that that he, you know, <laughs> took care of it. Took care. He 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 gave the pass to Black Panther, which is what they were seeking. Uh, so we thank you, Spencer. But all of a sudden, we're taking a a European Anglo mythical tale and trying to a, adapt that to modern woke diversity. Look at that fucking woke bitch existing. Amazing. Can't believe it. Dante the Red, thanks for the uh, ten months, dude. Appreciate it. Ten months in the glorious cornfield. Culture. You know, diversity's fine. I don't have a problem. I mean, you know, heaven's going to be a very diverse place. I have no problem with that. But when you're actually destroying the source material in order to force diversity upon something and thus destroying the source material, that's where it gets a little iffy for me. That's now, not... I... I'm not going to lie to y'all. I really want to dip into this southern sort of fucking accent he's got going on when he's talking. So I might do this on accident. As the as the video goes on, but I got I got to be honest with you, fellas. I I, 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 don't, I don't think making making something in the same universe as something else. I I I don't think I don't think that destroys the the original thing. You know. <laughs> you know, you, you guys you guys ever like. Uh, like, the first Jurassic Park is still a good movie. You know what I mean? It's still a good movie. None of the other Jurassic Parks are. But that first one fucks, man. It is what it is. It's a completely different world. Ah. <laughs> uh. Silly. 
It's I don't really care silly. that much about Lord of the Rings, but that is the point that a lot of these social commentators are making, and I think it's a fair point to have. And all these people that they I don't get care these about college... Lord of the Rings. Here's my Lord of the Rings fucking video. <laughs> degrees. They get woke in university. They go into something and they go and absolutely destroy it, like Bad Robot has, and all these terrible. Bad co- Robot. Wait, what has Bad Robot done that's woke? This is the. Uh, 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 uh... What's his name? He did he did Lost. He did uh, uh, Cloverfield. The fuck is this guy's name? Star Trek? Star Trek? Oh, Star Trek. J.J. Abrams, yeah. Star Trek. No, nope, not Star Wars. Definitely Star Trek. Uh, huh. Okay, so he doesn't like the new Star Trek. I haven't seen it. Don't care about it. But it's got three seasons, doesn't it? Aren't they doing another season after this one? companies forcing female oh, he did, heroin he did he did no he did the first star wars movie but then uh they only made one other one no 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 no. he made he made he made the the force awakens and then they did uh the last jedi and then they yeah no what are you talking about her ramble was just a gorilla he he made a girl Jedi. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you guys are crazy. There's only been there's only been, they've only made two other Star Trek movies after the original sequel. Prequels. There's there's eight. Ones upon us that really aren't that interesting, kind of like Star Wars, bro. That last movie was garbage, like total gar. Like I mean, I watched that last movie one time, and I was like the hyper Calvinist that just got in a car wreck. I was like, I'm glad that's over with. Why didn't he like The Last Jedi, which was the last Star Wars movie? Spoilers. These people are taking things that are fine as they are, and they are mm-hmm. trying to adapt it. Okay, jokes aside, uh, with the Star Wars stuff, the reason the last one sucked is because they stopped doing the good stuff from the one before that, which was the woke one. So... Rise of Skywalker's trash. No, Rise of Skywalker's butthole. Last Jedi, good. Rise of Skywalker, bad. Force Awakens, pretty good. Pretty fun. It's a good It's a good intro to it. Last Jedi, real good. Rise of Skywalker, didn't happen. To a modern culture, because they think that that is what people want. Rise of Skywalker... Second best Star Wars movie. And in the process of doing so, are actually destroying the product that they're trying to actually sell to people. They're destroying the long and storied franchise, The Eternals. The Eternals, the book from Marvel you had all read and loved growing up and were sure didn't need diversity because you know definitely that The Eternals originally were not diverse without looking it up. I don't remember the names of the characters in this movie, and I watched every second of it earnestly and enjoyed aspects of it. I don't remember literally, literally any of this. I know Salma Hayek. He he was in that one show that only had six seasons. Uh, this She was a famous actress from Gone in 60 Seconds. Um, buff Asian daddy. Um, um, this is the, this is the main character sort of whose name I definitely don't know. Uh, this is a child who wanted to fuck this guy. Um, and that's a black fella. I think there were some other people in it. These, yeah. Yep. That's exactly what they're doing. They're oh, just- and then there was this person whose powers I forgot. Destroying the Marvel Comics franchise. Oh, dest- and then there's Kumail, who is awesome. And the whole movie should have been his movie. Destroying the Lord of the Rings. And everything that they try to... Apply- it wasn't Athena. It was Thena. That's, now I remember now. I remember being annoyed by that. It's Thena, not Athena. Apply this woke identity politics, too. They are going to destroy it. You mark my words. But before we get too upset at these people and too angry with them, we have to realize that, you know, guys like Stephen Furtick are doing the exact same thing. Guys like Stephen Furtick are trying to... Stephen Furtick? 
Wait, what? What are we doing? Wait, what? Oh, it does say Stephen Furtick. I thought he was Stephen Furtick. No, he's Spencer Smith. Fuck. Okay, I don't know what the second part of this is. I don't know what the second part of this is. So, so maybe, maybe we don't give a shit. But we're going to watch a little bit because I don't know what he's going to say. Make the gospel cool and gospel relevant and trying to make the gospel? gospel amazingly rad. And so God is not this holy, omniscient, all-powerful God that you're sitting under the Whoa. judgment of now. Oh, oh, we got some Christian beef, dude. Okay, suit some Christian beef. Bonus Christian beef. Okay? Bonus. Let's go into it. Hell yeah. God is some hip, cool dude that can do kick flips with a skateboard because he's rad and cool. And you want to have that rad and cool dude in your I think he's fucking jealous of this guy. This guy clearly fucks. Other guy, not fucking. Now, this guy fucks people, you know, that that look 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 and act in a way reciprocal to his vibe if you know what i'm saying life because you know does. you're rad and cool and jesus is rad and cool so you you guys should just you know get together with jesus because jesus is dope know what i'm saying i think i pulled a brain muscle just saying that and see that's jesus what jesus christ dude who sent me this because what a fucking like unfunny boomer man this is cringe as fuck bro like don't get me wrong the 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 old fuckers need a space on the internet someday hopefully i'm an old fucker on the internet but nonetheless they need a space this is i can't deal with this if you're old just own it don't be whatever this is this this just uncool fucking boat shoes personality not feeling it what these guys are doing they are literally trying to adapt the bible into a modern culture so that everybody feels welcome and everybody feels a part of this and nobody feels left out when the truth is what they are doing is they are betraying the source material to adapt it to some sort of woke identity politics and even the culture of today so it's and a woke church stephen furtick stephen furtick i'm gonna be honest uh, i would change my name i would change it uh, Elevation Church. Uh, where's Elevation? I mean, maybe we'll just go to the Elevation Church. Elevation Church. A Baptist evangelical multi-site megachurch. Sounds terrible. It believes in the Baptist Confession of Faith and is a member of the Southern Baptist Convention. Okay. <clears throat> uh, outreach. Love Week? Uh, okay, this is based. Maybe. Possible based. Elevation members pack more than 10,000 sandwiches for the homeless, help single mothers get their car service, donated blood, cleaned up parks and streets, built a soccer field for local ministries, and renovated buildings. I like that. Mutual aid. In 2011, Elevation and over 25 other local churches served more than 34,000 hours in a single week. In 2012, Elevation partners with 31 other churches, served 62 hours, blah, blah, blah. So they've done some charity. Charity? Charity. Um, Elevation Church has been criticized. Oh, is this what... The, I remember there was... there was. Is this the guy whose baptisms got undone? Um, uh, Elevation Church has been criticized over its practice of selecting volunteers who wish to be baptized to do so during so-called spontaneous baptism services. In response to the initial coverage, Elevation released a statement for reason part. We are confident that those who attend Elevation Church know and understand our mission and vision for helping people in Jesus Christ. As attendees, they are provided through weekly teaching biblical context for everything we do in practice, such as baptism, giving, blah, blah, blah. Is this, uh, uh, so he's not shitty? No, he's probably still fucking shitty. Like, he's, he's, he's just a Baptist. They don't even, like, do anything interesting. Like, if I go here and go to the news, are they going to have Premier Production NASA's Elevation stuff? Worship experience. A nationwide. So, he's just he's just mad that they're popular, I guess? Uh... Yeah, I'm not, I'm not a super big fan of, of any of that. So I think he probably still sucks. And he's a mega doing, church. Yeah, he's a mega church preacher. He's probably ass. In that process, <laughs> they're actually destroying the source material and ruining the product that they say that they love. Oh, I'm getting ready to preach. That's exactly what they're doing. Is he and a if, preacher? Is this guy a preacher? Oh, I'm getting ready to preach. You don't see it that way, then you see it wrong. You see Romans 12, 1 and 2 says, I beseech you therefore... All right, I don't care. 
Fuck off. Nope. That was your bonus. That was your bonus Jesus stuff. I don't care at all about your beef. I don't. Anyway, Lord of the Rings gets to have black people in it. It's fine. No one gives a shit. It's not a big deal. Just be good. That's all it needs to be is good. Please. There's no good fantasy stuff. This is this is the take you should be having. Okay? Is there is no good fantasy content from like AAA media sources available other than like some of the classic things that stand out. Right? Lord of the Rings being chief among them. Playing actual D and D. These are the only ways. Video games. There's not even a lot of good fantasy video games. There's a couple, but not even a lot of good ones. So we need more of it, and certainly we don't have any good uh, uh, shows that are running right now. We have some old stuff, but nothing really good. Like Witcher. Yeah, I like the season of The Witcher, but it didn't. It didn't. Wheel of Time was not very good. It was fine. Um, definitely, uh, no, Skyrim was trash. Uh, the surprising good fantasy thing that came out, although it's a little bit modern, fan- well, uh, 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 World War One-ish fantasy, um, is Blood and, uh, Bl- Shadow and Blood, Shadow and Bone, Shadow and Bone, really fun, really liked it. And Game of Thrones was ass. 